In this example, we're going to multiply these two trinomials together. It looks like the first one is a quintic trinomial, and we're going to multiply this with a quartic trinomial. So they're both written in standard form, which is nice, but you notice the powers uh, aren't right next to each other. It's not like 2, 1, 0. It's kind of 5, 3, 1, and then 4, 2, 0. So let's go ahead and multiply these and see what happens. So we'll take this first term, 2x to the fifth, and we'll do a series of distributions. We'll distribute them through this trinomial. And then likewise, we'll take this term and then this term. And so we'll have three terms times three terms. So we'll have nine terms at the end. And then we'll just combine whatever terms happen to be like terms. So 2x to the fifth times 3x to the fourth. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And then x to the fifth and x to the fourth, well, they both have x, so same base. And we're multiplying, so let's add those exponents, so x to the ninth. So 2x to the fifth and 5x squared, that'll be 10 and uh, 10x to the seventh. And I left a little space here because we're not sure if there's an x to the eighth term that's going to sneak its way in here. So let's do the last one, 2x to the fifth times negative 2, and that'll be a negative 4x to the fifth. Okay, so that's done with this one. So let's go ahead and take this negative 5x cubed and uh, we've got a different color here and we'll distribute them here, here, and here. So negative 5x cubed times 3x to the fourth. Well, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And then uh, x cubed and x to the fourth makes x to the seventh. So negative 15x to the seventh. And we'll line them up here in the x to the seventh column. And then we have negative 5 times 5, which is negative 25, and then x cubed and x squared. So negative 25x to the fifth. Okay, and finally, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, and the x cubed comes along for the ride. Okay, so it seems like we might not have needed those spaces, but that's okay. So then we have this plus x, and we'll distribute them here, here, and here. So, and we might need to move this piece of paper over a little. So x times 3x to the fourth will be positive 3x to the fifth. And then x times 5x squared will be positive 5x cubed. And then finally, we'll have a, a negative 2x at the end here. Okay? So let's see if we can get them all in there. Yeah, there we go. Fit them all in there. Okay, so this guy is going to be x uh, to the ninth with a 6 in front. And then we have minus 5x to the seventh. And then all these x to the fifth terms are going to add together. And we have, what, negative 26x to the fifth plus 15x cubed and minus 2x. And we have this nonic polynomial with five terms. And that serves as the product for these two trinomials.